Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today. With an article from The Federalist. This is dated, let us check, from May 31st. This will be yesterday from the time I'm recording it. I'm recording this on the morning of June 1st. Has anything in the news happened lately? Anything important at all? Well, I think this article will definitely show that and that there has been, and let's just dive right in. It says, after Trump's conviction, Republicans should do to Democrats what they did to him. I'm very much a proponent of this. And here's the picture here of the Manhattan DA just BSing. And if you don't know who this guy is on the right, go find out. Um, and if that doesn't make you go, oh, Joe Biden coordinated this entire thing, well... <laughs> I don't know what will. So it says, either you're willing to jail Democrats on the same terms they're using to jail Trump, or you're merely a controlled opposition. And being someone that's very much an eye for an eye myself, I'm totally for this. In fact, I'm for going further and, like, just, you need to do to them to the point where they just go, oh my god, we should never do this again. <laughs> like, you need to make them feel the pain here. So let's see what this article says, and let's see how much I agree with them. It says the conviction of former President Donald Trump on manufactured charges is in a Stalinist show trial this week marks a crossroads for the Republican Party. From now on, the civil war inside the GOP will be between those who understand they must do to Democrats what Democrats have done to Trump and those who think they can trundle along with business as usual. Yeah, that that that's not an option at this point. This needs it needs to be they must do to Democrats what Democrats have done to Trump. That I mean that for me that's really kind of the only option. So it says, and make no mistake, that divide in the Republican Party is very real, and now very obvious. In the wake of Trump's conviction Thursday, for example, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell was submissively silent for most of the day. And I wonder if it goes into what his statement was, but he basically was just like, yeah, we, I don't like this. Thanks, goodbye. Like, it was just very, like, not even like a lukewarm statement. It was just kind of like, okay. <laughs> it says, not all his conspicuous silence was a surprise, or not that his conspicuous silence was a surprise. Recall that a year ago, McConnell was likewise silent for hours after Trump was indicted in the classified documents probe, as was minority whip John Thune. Eventually, McConnell issued the weakest possible statement late on Thursday, as did Thune, who belatedly called the Manhattan trial politically motivated and bemoaned the partisan nature of this prosecution. Yeah, it's like, okay, here's our talking points. We're just going to use all the same generic talking points. And that was basically it. As other Republicans were not silent, but should have been. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, whose last notable action before leaving office was to veto a bill that would have protected children from transgender genital mutilation, issued a craven statement that seemed to accept the legitimacy of the trial and conviction. Quote, It is not easy to see a former president and the presumptive GOP nominee convicted of felony crimes, but the jury verdict should be respected. An appeal is in order, but let's not diminish the significance of this verdict. End quote. How about you just go back to getting like 1% or less on a presidential primary and just, just go away? Hutchinson wasn't alone for calling for the rigged, obviously corrupt, corrupt trial and Soviet-style commission to be respected. The former GOP governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, who is now running for U.S. Senate, encouraged people to respect the verdict and legal process and invoked the rule of law, a curious thing to say given how the entire trial made a mockery of the rule of law. And if I'm not going to go into it here from the because th I'm probably going to get some of it wrong again, not a lawyer, but if you don't know all the stuff in law that was basically broken in this trial, stuff that was just changed specifically for Trump, that I'd suggest you go look at it because it you, you'll be able to tell it right away that it's a it's a show trial. The former National Security Advisor and neocon hack John Bolton said Trump's conviction was a fire bell in the night and that Republicans should change course and not nominate a convicted felon for president as if he were reading DNC talking points. So Ohio Senator J.D. Vance had the perfect riposte to this. Says John Bolton finally encounters a war he doesn't want to fight. <laughs> that is pretty good. I didn't actually see that one. The Republicans like these should be purged from the party immediately, especially McConnell. As Rachel Boulevard noted on X, there is nothing stopping Senate Republicans from calling the leadership election now. Given what the stakes are now and what we know Democrats are willing to do to cling to power, the only way forward is to do politics on the terms Democrats themselves have set. So that means if you're a GOP candidate or elected official, and especially if you're a Republican district attorney or attorney general, and your response to Trump's conviction isn't to begin making plans to indict President Biden and other leading Democrats on criminal charges, then you have no idea what time it is and need to be primary, sidelined, or otherwise run out of the party. And I've seen a number of uh, X's, how does it say, X tweets, but tweets, is, you know, whatever, a number of tweets from people saying that, yeah, the, every red state needs to start indicting people, especially Joe Biden. And what was the, uh, I'm trying to think, someone said something, there was a couple of people that said the same sort of thing that was like, I guess this election coming up is like uh, whoever whoever loses is going to jail, basically. 
and we shouldn't have to do that in this country but Democrats, you made the rules. You're going to have to live by them now, and I hope you do. Let's take Virginia Attorney General Jason Mieres, a Republican who appears to live in a fantasy world. On Thursday, in the wake of Trump's conviction, Mieres said, In America, we don't seek to jail political opponents. We seek to defeat them at the ballot box. Actually, Jason, in America, only one major political party does that. The other one holds show trials and imprisons their political opponents on fake charges. Put bluntly, Republicans have to make Democrats play by their own rules. They have to inflict pain ruthlessly on Democrats... Uh, with endless show trials and lawfare, just as Democrats have done to Trump. The leftist radicals who run the Democrat Party only understand power, and they will only stop when they are force-fed their own medicine over and over. What does that messaging look like? It looks like Anthony Sabatini, a Florida Republican, who said Thursday he's running for Congress to imprison as many Democrats as possible. I uh, don't have a problem with that. This is my Federalist colleague Sean Davis said Thursday, if you're a Republican running for office, you can just go ahead and throw away all of your elegant little policy proposals for this or that corporate exclusion or tax subsidy. Give me a list of which Democrat officials you're going to put in prison or get lost. Again, don't have a problem with them saying this now that this is going on. Like Again, Democrats, you open Pandora's box. This is what's going to start happening. This is, what does that look like in practice? Here's one idea. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton should immediately indict President Biden and Attorney General Merrick Garland for the ongoing crisis at the border, which in every way is a criminal human trafficking conspiracy that they have orchestrated and sustained by flouting federal immigration law. And uh, Mayorkas as well. Uh, and yeah, I don't. I think he should absolutely do that. That would be great if he did that. Man, I'd say like, bring it on. Let's do it. The top Republicans like McConnell will never support anything like that, which means they're worse than worthless. They're actively on the side of Democrats. The only explanation for the weak, belated statement from McConnell is that he's glad Trump was convicted and hopes he goes to prison. If the Republican Party is going to be anything other than controlled opposition for the Democrats, fiddling while the Republic burns, it needs to purge its ranks of snakes like McConnell and elevate those who aren't afraid of playing by Democrats' rules. A good way to separate the two groups would be to start asking Republican office holders and candidates whether they'd be willing to bring criminal charges against high-ranking Democrats and, if they can, imprison them. So that's the world Democrats have been called it. Uh, have called into being with the show trial. They are the ones who have created no quarter in this, or have cried in no quarter in this fight. The least Republicans can do at this point is accept their terms and enter the fight on equal footing. Why is that so important? For two reasons. The first, mentioned above, is that Democrats will never stop unless they are made to suffer exactly what they would inflict on Republicans. If you're going to start jailing political opponents in America, then it has to go both ways. The other reason is now that Democrats have done this, they've made a mockery of our justice system, and the only way to restore faith in the rule of law is to make those responsible pay for what they've done and bring them to justice. If Democrats get away with this, Americans will be justified in thinking the entire system is illegitimate. So Republican officials have a choice to make. They can do what's necessary to stop Democrats and restore faith in our justice system, or they can become Democrat slaves and let the Republic burn. Very well said. I'm not sure I could have said anything much better than this. I mean, I agree that they need to go whole ham after these guys and do like what Anthony Sabatini said here running for Congress and imprison as many Democrats as possible. It's like, you guys open the door for this and don't come out like Joe Biden didn't say it. Nobody's above the law because that coming from Joe Biden is really rich. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I mean, what do you think should happen? Do you agree that Democrats should be uh, on their heels right now and that Republicans need to go after them and start doing to them what they did to Trump? Or do you think uh, more like Mitch McConnell where it's like, no, 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 rule of law. Really be interested in hearing what everybody's opinion on this is. So let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.